Hi, welcome back to the Closure Cones walkthrough. We're ready to jump into the second file here uh, of the Closure Cones source, uh, talking about lists. So let's do that, let's jump right in. Again, I'm gonna just copy out the code here and I'm gonna paste it into the light table IDE that I already have running in a separate tab here. So here's the light table, I'm gonna paste in the code and Again, I don't intend to run this meditations function that they that they provide here, so I'm going to delete that outer set of parentheses, and we're just going to be taking a look at each of the individual um, expressions here and see if we can make all of these pass uh, by filling in the blanks. So let's just jump in with the first one. Lists can be expressed by function or a quoted form. Okay, so here's the equals function again and it's got two parameters one is this list of blanks with a single quote character at the beginning and the other parameter is this expression where it's looks like it's calling the list function with five numbers as parameters so it looks like these five blanks probably match up to the five numbers so what does that give us that gives us well let's just type it in All right, so that passed, but what does it mean? <laughs> so it looks like closure, and I guess most lisps are like this. <laughs> they let you use a single quote to, t to say that the list that follows here is simply data. And what does that mean? Um, what, if it, what if we didn't use the quote character? Let me just paste this up here and we can see what happens. So here's a list where I'm not going to use the single quote character at the beginning. And what does it give us? It, it gives us this error with this confusing error message. It's saying a long cannot be cast to a function, a closure function. So what's, what's it's, what it's trying to do here is it's, it thinks that this first parameter, the number one, is actually a function that it's trying to call. And obviously that's not gonna work. The number one <laughs> is not a function. So what do we do here? We can either say, oh, this is a list and call the list function with all these parameters. Or we can use a single quote character, which is a little bit more powerful actually. So what it's saying is everything that follows inside this list is just pure data. You don't need to execute any functions in here. It's just pure data. And uh, okay, so this looks like a very simple syntax, but one that's gonna get used a lot. So, okay, let's go on to the next one then. So lists are closure sequences, so they allow access to the first. Okay, so we've got a first function being called with a list of five parameters. So given that list, if we want I guess the first function is going to return the first element from that list. There you go, number one, which is the first element of that list. So we've also got this other function called rest. Well, if, if first return the first element, it looks like rest is going to return back everything else that followed after that. So let's try that. We'll use a single quote um, syntax for the list and paste in the rest of the list, and that seems to work, cool. Okay, so what about when when we're calling rest, but there's nothing rest, actually. There's just the first element of the list, and then there's nothing. So in this case, I guess the empty list is gonna be returned, right? Okay, so construction by adding an element to the front is simple. Cool, so yeah, we've got this cons function, and we're giving it an element, and then we're giving it a list. So what this is going to do is construct a new list where A is the first element, and all these other elements are the rest of it. So let's paste those in. Great, so that's working. So that's how you construct a new list by adding an element to the front. Uh, we've also got conj. Now this looks like it's doing the exact same thing. It's it's adding an element to the front of the list, but conj is a little bit different. It takes the list as the first parameter and then the element as the second parameter. So what we're gonna get back here 
is a list where zero is the first element and then all these elements from the given list are the rest. So there we go. So conj and cons are very similar, but cons uh, takes the element as the first parameter and then the list as the second. Conj does the reverse. The list is the first parameter and the element is the second. But you're going to see conj later because it's used for more than just lists. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so uh, we've also got a function peak and it's treating the list as if it's a stack. So if we want to peak at the first element of the list, well, that's pretty much just like the first function. It's, it's, it's behaving very similarly. So in this case, when we peek into this list, it's just going to return the first element, which is A. Okay, now pop. So what if we pop off the first element of the list? What does that leave us? It leaves us the rest of this list here. So that seemed to behave just like the rest function. Pop and the rest are very similar, but Let's see, here I think they're gonna show us some differences. Watch out if you try to pop nothing. So if we try to pop nothing off of this list of nothing, then what does it give us? Well, it gives us an exception. <laughs> so here, uh, we're also getting a chance to see closures try catch blocks. Um, so we've got an expression that's just saying try, try to execute the given um, expression here. And if it throws an error, we can have a catch block. So I guess what's going to happen here is pop is not going to like uh, this parameter where we're calling it with an empty list and it's going to try to pop something off of an empty list. It's going to throw an error. And in this case, it'll be an illegal state exception. So this catch block is catching that exception. And here's the expression that it's going to be returning. It's going to return this string, no dice. So that's what's going to happen here. We'll fill in the blank with no dice. Yep, that worked. So pop doesn't like an empty list, but uh, looks like the rest function is not so strict. If we call rest with uh, an empty list, it's okay with that. It's not going to complain and throw an error. It'll just, it'll just simply return back the uh, empty list. So this try catch block is not really necessary. It did not, it did, uh, the exception did not get thrown from rest. We could delete that if we wanted. Okay, just for fun I did that. Um, cool, so that's about it. We've gotten a quick introduction to lists. Lists are foundational to uh, Lisp and Clojure, so it's good that we covered some of the basics here. But I think it's time that we move on to the next topic and keep on going. All right, I'll see you in the next one.